One of the latest features we've added to the front access suite Git code is a basic uh, PTS module that adds uh, pushover.net support for s sending very simple web notifications to your um, iOS and Android devices. Uh, from there, you're basically able to get real-time not notifications of when any testing starts, uh, real-time test data back, and everything else to your mobile device or even your email address. We've already had built-in support uh, via, via our module framework for communicating via email and then through Forumatic and OpenBenchmarking.org for other notifications, but with this pushover.net module, it's extremely easy for getting real-time test data or for finding out when a test is completed. So if you have to swap a graphics card or a processor, your iOS or Android device will immediately notify you. And of course, with being a front access test suite module, it's universal across all tests. Um, right now in this demo, we're just doing a real quick uh, run through of Counter-Strike Source and Open Arena for basically just showing that it works. Um, it's very easy to set up. You basically just need to set an environment variable for uh, your pushover.net user uh, key and then from there just very easy to go through and it's all fully automated um, you can change around the module you want if you want it to report different data and whatnot uh, feedback certainly welcome and this counter-strike source one is almost done and then we'll be on to open arena uh, with with formatic and openbenchmarking.org we'll also be adding some other features for push notifications but uh, this pushover.net uh, support is basically just for anyone that wants to have one or two systems around and quickly be notified when any testing event occurs on your systems. Um, you can also select it by system, uh, so you can easily manage all the different systems on your local area network. Uh, the actual API code here is like less than 100 lines of code for this module. It's extremely simple, and any open source contributions are welcome, and it looks like this Counter-Strike source might finally be done. We're using a Radeon R9290 here, and okay, we just got this notification that the front access suite R9290 is done. Let's check it out on pushover. So we see here the R9290 graphics chart just finished. Well, actually, it looks like it got chopped off a bit by pushover. Um, also, when it, the testing started, it also gave the estimated time co completion, which was acquired by the Frontex Test Suite client, based upon previous test data. Uh, here's some other notifications from earlier in the day. Showing the result, very easy. And now back on the system, we're finishing up Open Arena right now, before we get our final notifications on pushover. This code is currently checked into the Phronix test suite Git and will be part of the 5.0.1 Plask release in a few days' time. I'm going to just show that Open Arena is now finished. And it had 217 frames per second with our 1990. And then back here on the normal client, we can view our results, upload up bench, openbenchmarking.org, and carry out all of the other Phronix test suite tasks. Uh, your feedback is welcome and look for many other Git improvements coming very soon.